So I was wondering, what if ChatGPT had a voice? What would it be like? So I directly got into action and I made a new folder and named it Talking GPT and let's find out. Tick it and whoop. All right, let's open a new terminal and type npm init-y and then you will see some gibberish being generated. And then you will want to install some packages to help us make the bot. So let's do npm i discord.js for our first package. This too. And this. And that. Perhaps this too. Of course an open AI. And then you would want to create a new file and you're gonna name it config.json. And here you will simply want to locate your token and open AI key. Now let's create a new file and let's name it index.js. So in this file we'll start by defining all the packages that we're going to use. Then to use our Discord bot we will need to create a client. And a client needs some intents and here are the intents that we are using. And now we're going to configure our OpenAI's package and create a new instance. And now we'll need to predefine some variables. Add this to detect the speech. Write down our ready event so we log in the terminal once the bot is ready. Add message create event. Check if the message starts with the command that you desire. Now we will check if the user is actually in the voice channel or not. And now we will want to make a voice connection with our bot. And then we will want to create a resource file in which it will say uh, hello how can I help you once the bot joins the VC then define the player and then actually make the bot join using voice.subscribe and then playing the resource which we defined earlier in line 35. Great, let's now create a speech event which is a custom event actually. Then if the bot doesn't detect anything from what we say actually it will just return the message of content as empty so if it is empty we want to return and not do anything all right and if not we want to console.log the message content all right so let's focus on this part because it's important all right so you can use brainshop ai which is free but it's a chat bot it's not actually like an artificial intelligence like it doesn't search and stuff it just talks with you or you can use open ai in this video I will show how to use OpenAI aka ChatGPT for this bot, right? So here we are using OpenAI package to create a chat completion, okay? And then we use the GPT 3.5 turbo model and then we will send a the content which is the message.content and then the max tokens 50 so basically tokens is like how long you want the message to be pro I guess like one token is like one word something like that i'm not actually sure you can search it up but we want to limit the usage of tokens because you don't want the bot to just talk a lot in the vc yeah and you don't want to pay a lot so yeah and then we'll get the text which is the response from open ai and then we want to cut the text if it is longer than 250 characters because go translate tts doesn't take any more than that and console.log it but stick up because actually I, later in the video i showed how to make it longer than 250 like it can be unlimited now so yeah watch the full video and now we want to create a new resource and link into the player so it plays in the vc and now we'll log in with our token using client.login and put the token as a parameter all right so here i am Two days after because yeah I had some stuff to do so let's test the bot here it says I'm not in the voice channel so let me give it a try all right if I did this hello how can I help you all right so it works but now I need to be muted to talk like normally so the bot doesn't detect it so, let me ask the question. What are batteries made on? Alright, this is future Ultra X actually to say that it actually detected what I said but it didn't reply and that's the issue with the TTS that I'm using. So now, 
you will see kind of a transition in which I'm going to put some new code instead of the one I have for the TTS for it to work. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so let's start by installing a package called Simple TTS MP3. And now we will just define it among the others. And let's turn this into that. And now we will need to create a random ID. And now we will need to do this part, which is basically creating an audio file that will go into a folder called output, a write, and the name of the file will be named after the random ID. And then we will set a timeout of one second because it needs to be created to take time, alright, so one second. And then we will define the resource which is R here, and then we will play it using the player.play. So now we will just need to create an output folder to store the files. And then I got the idea of making a command such as disconnect. Once you say the word disconnect in the VC, it's gonna make the bot actually leave the VC. And then I was like, I need to make some sort of prefix so everything I say doesn't get detected. So I may so if you say the word hello, it's gonna actually be a prefix and detect any anything you say after the word hello. Alright, now that we have it here, let's give it a try. So no dot, here we have this empty, alright. Let's go here and do GPT. Yeah, I'm not in voice channel, I forgot about that. Boom. Hello, how can I help you? See, there now it is working actually. And it's not detecting anything that I'm saying because I didn't say this word, yeah? So let's give it a try while saying it. Hello, can you tell me how big is the earth? Alright, so as you can see here, it detected what I said at first. And then it got the reply, which we logged over here. And then lastly, it created the audio, audio file over here, as you can see. Like, we have it here. If now I played it, the Earth has a diameter you of see. And the reason why I have a one second delay is that if you don't put that, it won't work. Simply. Don't ask why, it just won't work. So yeah. Probably because it tries to play it before the audio is created So probably that's why there is also an option of not creating an audio file of just like Get the audio directly, but I didn't it didn't work with me for some reasons, but you can give it a try if you want to and um, Yeah, you can actually use any other chatbot if you want to. It's not limited to ChatGPT, you can just put any other chatbot that you have. Even your own chatbot, if you have like your own um, chatbot that you made, you can use that as well. Alright, so how about we try this. Disconnect. Yeah, it works, amazing. And we got an error. Alright, so anything you see after this part is actually, like, it was corrupted, so this is day 7 of me re-recording the video, and hopefully this is the last day. Alright, so the issue in the last video was this, so to fix it, all you gotta do is just disconnect, and that's it. Now there will be no error when you disconnect the bot. But I thought, let's add a little bit of a Ultrax touch to the video. Shall we? Hello, how can I help you? Play music. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what you want the next video to be in. Ciao.